did my industrial placement at Sellafield, which is in West Cumbria. And I got my placement through an email from the university and then she's sending my CV and having a technical interview. On a daily basis, I think the main thing that you did was talking to people, getting information in order to do some calculations. But I think the most important thing is the relationships part of the job, like phoning up people, emailing, actually going to see where, they, where they're working and how everything kind of works together. So I had to design the cleanup for a furnace of gas system. So I kind of had to do a very big mass balance like you learn at university and having to identify which equipment is the most appropriate in order to clean the off gas that you've calculated is going to happen. I had to do some assessment of the flammability of those gases and whether they were hazardous or not. I definitely deepened my knowledge in the hazards. I must have gone to about five different hazard meetings within my year and um, that definitely gave me an insight on how real hazards work. I think it has helped me because it has helped me because I think you understand that chemical engineering is not just a bunch of calculations to design a distillation problem kind of thing. It's about the wider picture. You have to see the whole process and understand it from when the process starts to the end and how, what like every little thing that happens in between. And um, it's really challenging but also rewarding when you see that. The process that you're working on is actually being designed and it will get built and you see the actual site where it's going to be built and it's quite exciting I find. My advice is do it, just do it because the experience I've, I've gained from this one year has set my career a milestone ahead of everyone else. It is so much learning, it enhances your CV and it really really changes you. You you know you're ready to leave university when you come back, you do your masters, you know much more and you know what's out there once you're gonna graduate. And also it's it is really good, but the, the best advice also into getting one is to be yourself and research, research the company that you apply for. An industrial placement also enhances your your soft skills, so being able to talk to people, for example, for me specifically at Sellafield, they gave you a lot of training and uh, I learned much more about presentations and before I wasn't, I wasn't able to put myself in front of a group of people and give a presentation, um, it was the hardest thing I could do and after my industrial placement, I happily did the other day my, my, industrial, um, my presentation for my project in front of you know, 30 people and it was okay. So you, you get to learn other things as well that you wouldn't at university. The thing is, I'm not one for saying the job is different for a woman or mm. for a man and everywhere that I've been, there has been equal number. Well, there has been a lot of women out there and, um, but I haven't felt different in any way for being a, a woman engineer. You know, you're good because you're an engineer and you're a good engineer, regardless of whether you're a girl or a man or whatever. And I think that at the workplace, I've never had any problems. So.